Now let's talk about the minimum number of teeth on a pinion. Okay. So for pinion, I will take the uh, triangle B O one P. So you have this kind of a figure, which is B O one and P. This is alpha and this is ninety. Okay. So we'd find out O one B square. which is O1P square plus PB square minus 2 into O1P into PB into cos 90 plus alpha. Okay, O1P, this is M into Z1 by 2. If you look at BP, BP, this is also alpha, so it is O2P into sin alpha, isn't it? So this becomes O2P sin alpha which is MZ2 by 2 sin alpha. So you will get O1B square is equal to m z1 by 2 whole square plus m z by 2 into sin alpha whole square minus will become plus 2 into m z1 by 2 m z2 by 2 sin alpha it will become sin square alpha okay so again if I look at this particular part which is O 1 B this is equal to O 1 D ok. So O 1 B is equal to O 1 D which is equal to O 1 P plus P D plus P D. So O 1 P is the pitch circle radius of the pinion. So you will get M into Z1 by 2 plus PD is the addendum for the pinion. So you will get AP into M. AP into M. So you will get the value for OB, O1B from this equation. That is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Equate these two to get the value for Z1. Okay. And Z1 would be 2 into AP by under root 1 plus I square sin square alpha plus 2I sin square alpha minus 1. So that is the minimum number of teeth on a pinion. Okay. So the pinion and the gear analysis are almost same. I hope you got it. Now let's move on to some numericals on this topic.